Hey everyone, it's a little before eight o'clock. Uh, so I got an email earlier today that the Amazon Go store in Chicago just opened. So I had a full day of work and uh, trying to uh, rush home. Traffic was really bad, um, but we're gonna try and check it out before it closes. And I made a rookie mistake number two, which was grabbed a memory card that was full. So using my iPhone. Hi everyone. Hi. This is Cicely. Hey. We're gonna check out the Amazon Go store. We're going, going, going so to we'll, Amazon. What do you think it's like? Um, I think it's a shit show right now. Fancy. It, we'll <laughs> see if it's busy. Uh, it just opened today, yeah. so let's check it out. All right, here we are. Cicely's gonna go in store here. I got my app. All right. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I walked in and you had these bags. Paper or reusable tote. But guess what? You have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait. Oh, I already put one in my car. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm a kombucha fanatic, <laughs> but they've got kombucha here, and it's pretty, the price is pretty much on par. Three forty-nine. I'll take one. Take one. Take one. So we got in. We got our reusable totes. It cost ninety-nine cents each. Cicely's got her first item that she picked off the shelf. And we'll assume that it got added to the cart, right? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Ooh, farmer's fridge. And I have the farmer's fridge. All the prices, all the same prices. They are? It's like they're like $8. Like a salad meal? I don't know how I feel about that particular salad. I don't know what these, what these brands are. It's a lot of like pre-packaged. Have you heard of Nona Lim? I haven't. They look, it looks good though. If I liked chicken pho noodles, I'm quite sure I do. $6.49. I have this thing with sandwiches where they look really good, but if there's actual mayonnaise on them, you get a little iffy because the bread gets soggy. Mm. Jerk chicken. <laughs> Look at the chicken mug. You get a just walk out mug Ooh, for I want those are $5.99. Fifteen dollars for those. Also, if you notice, when I do grab said item, and I'm like, oh, how much is this? Five ninety nine? No, thank you. And I put it back. Apparently, it doesn't charge me. So we'll find out. So fun fact, I just had Jenny's ice cream for the first time this weekend. Oh really? Yeah, I thought they were only in Columbus, but guess what? They're in Chicago! So I got one of these as my scoop flavors. So I'm gonna grab one. $8.99. Eh. <laughs> okay, so there's these, there's these box meals here. Cake in a jar? Oh, you gotta get one of those. It's cake icing. Um, any and you would like these. For <laughs> real. I'm not saying, just saying. Cheesecake? It's a lot of ground and go pre made items. Uh, so good it's gone. Sorry, it's kind of cool. Oh wait, I want some water. <laughs> yeah, make sure you're hydrated. <laughs> it is so nice of them. The 
water comes out really slow though. <laughs> Where is the comment box? <laughs> I think it's all online. I need the comment box, but <laughs> rolling. Here we go. Yeah. You just walked out. Sicily, I think what's funny is everybody's in the store taking pictures and video. <laughs> because everyone's a vlogger. Probably. These days. That guy right there with the cane, he's <laughs> vlogging too. No joke. He's I walked probably, by him and yeah. he was talking to his phone. I think so. He's probably got us on video right now. I, I, he's probably videoing <laughs> us, videoing him, and we're, we're going to be on YouTube later. Hey, guys. <laughs> He's got two different color shoes on, by the way. Does he really? Yeah. Black and gray. Oh, wow. <laughs> he probably has both sizes at home. I don't know, but that's a sweet bike. bike. All right, well, there you go. That's there you it. have it. The front of the store is a little lackluster, yes. I would say. There's not really a I lot wouldn't... of strong branding. It's just these big white panels. I wouldn't know this was here. Yeah unless we mapped it like we did. All right, so we left the store and I got my receipt pretty quick. I got my receipt in probably like about two minutes. Yeah. We were standing there taking pictures and I think everything is accurate. I was scrolling through it. But Cicely hasn't received the notification of hers. I'm still waiting on my... She was walking around touching everything. I think Like everything. Up. So so the, the system's probably cranking through the algorithm and the sensors and... I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. She might have spent $150. We don't know. Also, it was fun. I have a lot of feedback, though. <laughs> Dear of feedback. Amazon. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, you know, considering that there were no cashiers, there were an awful lot of employees just yes. walking around. Like, but they could be because of the first thing. Could be. But it was like a 2,000 square foot store. Like, pretty small store. Smaller than like a 7-Eleven. Yeah. And there was probably 15... Uh, no? Ten. Wow, ten people? there were people outside. There were people outside. There were two people outside. And? But the aisles were pretty big. The aisles were big. I don't know. It's just, it was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Sizzly. Hello? Did you know the loading train is right down there? No. Look at that. It's the oh. Amtrak station. I, I mean... What? <laughs> you can see it. It's right underneath the building. I've never right seen the that before. <laughs> How is that possible? Can you walk? Can you walk on this thing? <laughs> where are those people going? That's where they you enter. Are you going to Yeah. Can you watch you? Sears Tower. Oh, two different colors. I've never seen that. Um, oh, it's like usually, it's, usually it's one color. Yeah. Or whatever. Well, when the color I get back to my is. apartment, I'll be able to see views. Have yeah. Views. Okay, so what did you like about Amazon Go? I like that I didn't have to wait in line because I'm impatient. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, it really was. Especially like if you go to the Jewel, like any day Ugh. of the week, and they have like three cashiers working, yeah. and you end up waiting for like yeah. 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. I didn't like that I had to pay for this bag. Yeah. The promo videos, on day one. The promo videos we saw online probably were in Seattle. Really yeah, in Seattle. but still and day one. Day one, they had, they had free bags for a limited time. So. I didn't really bring anything thinking that they would have like, free complimentary for the first day, for the opening day. Um, I agree with you on that. I liked how you could heat up your meal when you left. There's yeah. There was a little station. There was no place to sit. So it wasn't like you yeah. heat it up and then what do you do? Do you leave? Like, you know, there wasn't like by a park. So it's not like you no. can go to like a park bench. It's on a random street. It was on a random it's street. Franklin. A, Franklin Street across from... I didn't like how you didn't know it was there. It's not yeah. very... Signed well. There, it wasn't signed up. well. It was it's really. It's not like Amazon Go is here. No. It's just like. And it wasn't really colorful. It was. It was no, a white it sign. Lacked color. A lot of color. Yeah. Lots of selection though. Good stuff. You thought it was bigger. I thought it was bigger than it was going to be. See, and I thought it felt smaller How than what I. How much bigger did you think it was going to be? Well, I thought that there would be more like traditional grocery store things. Like I thought that. There was a little section. There was. There was a little produce and little fruit section. I thought there'd maybe be a little bit more. Like they had like package, they had like blueberries and strawberries yeah. and carrots. I thought that there would be an actual like produce section, like corner. Right. Like but fast. Produce is probably harder because unless it's pre-packaged, like you can't True. rip anything, right? Like so, it's got to be True. stuff that like has a unit cost where it doesn't right. change. So that that kind of makes sense. But I was, I mean, I guess it's downtown, so we have a lot of like yeah. people. So they're like, it's 
very like grab and go food yeah, or like dinner. Super grab and go. My super style. grab and go. So My like style. I guess I thought that there would be more like packaged like you know, you know boxes of things like like the middle part of a grocery store. But you know what I just thought of if I was thirsty I could open something up right and drink it. I think so because I think at that point you grabbed it so. But I grabbed it and put stuff back a lot of times. And yeah, but I think cause you're not going to put back an empty thing. You haven't got your receipt yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's been like... She stole something. Right, yeah. It's still computer. You touched everything in that store. So it's... They did. Sorry. Somebody... Sorry, somebody they probably got flagged and it had to, they had to call a manager to like review <laughs> the tape test. The video of you it's walking around. <laughs> All right, well, we no, still have a couple blocks to walk home. So we'll see. Pending. We'll see if your receipt comes up before. <laughs> Yes, All right, right. so uh, Cicely got her receipt, and it's probably been, I don't know, like 10 minutes, 12 10, minutes. 10, 12 minutes, 15 minutes since Let's we left the store. Yeah. All right, what do you think? You think I your receipt's six right? Items. It tells you how long you were in the store. Yeah, 15 minutes. It matched his. It matched mine, yeah. It's got all of my items and my bag. How many items did you get? One, two, three, four, five, six items, including the bag. Okay. For twenty six sixteen. Okay. Not mine, bad. I think I was like eight items, and mine was like thirty. So we, if you go in and you spend fifteen minutes, thirty dollars. It's probably like I mean, people are probably going in, spending in short per shorter periods of time, and yeah, they're probably walking out the door. Especially if they know what they want. Yeah. And have been there. But we maybe were tipping the basket higher because. I could picture people walking in grabbing a bottled beverage and like a prepackaged salad. Or, Salads were like nine dollars, the drinks yeah. were like a dollar or so. Or like a, a fruit and right. yogurt and yeah. a beverage. Yeah, or like a breakfast item. So we probably yeah. actually had a higher higher basket. Pretty so. good. Yeah. yeah. Man oh man. Well it'll be oh. interesting to see. I mean it would be cool to see them pop up more. I'd like I'd like to actually see it expand a little bit. Yes. So two stories. Yeah, like more, just more selection. I think. Yeah. I think the concept is cool, though. AKA I'm excited bananas to see. and milk. Yeah, and... I'm excited to see what they do. It'll be cool. Yeah. All right, see ya. Bye. Hey everyone. So I just got home and I'm unpacking the items I got from the Amazon Go store, and I'm looking at everything that I have here, and it matches the receipt. So success there you know there's a lot of jokes about walking out of the store and stealing um, something but it got everything that I took I added to the bag here the one interesting thing to note was you had to manually select that you were either purchasing this reusable tote bag or that you were selecting a uh, paper bag and here in the city of Chicago we have a seven cent tax on um, paper bags anything that's not reusable bags uh, most places will give you credit if you bring a shopping reusable bag so I just got the reusable bag because you know, the environment and all uh, so all everything matches so you know I think overall a cool experience would be cool to see them like I said expand the product that they have maybe a little bit of a larger store so there's more of a selection add more stores this was you know obviously in the downtown business district so a lot of people probably are going there for lunch uh, you know after work maybe before work to get breakfast they had some like prepackaged like uh, breakfast items at croissants uh, they had some prepackaged fruit things we didn't see and this doesn't mean that they didn't have it but we didn't see like milk or like bread to go they had some like pre-wrapped bagels and muffins so definitely more of the takeaway it didn't really seem like some place that even like a downtown urban dweller such as myself would necessarily go for full-on grocery shopping but they had meal kits so you know that kind of at least signals that they're you know you, you could stop after work and, and grab a meal kit and some items so it's kind of somewhere in between but again it is like only 2,000 square feet uh, but you know we were able to get in we were there about 30 minutes before close so we got in and we were we spent about 15 minutes in the store there's actually at the end a timer tells you how long you spent uh, in addition to all your items. So it was, it was pretty cool. It'll be interesting to see what they do. It's awesome technology. I meant to look at the ceiling because supposedly you can see all these cameras, um, but I just, I failed to look up in, in the, the hustle and bustle of everything. It did look like there were a lot of people taking pictures, so they were either also blogging it or um, they were just curious as well. So, uh, but you know, here's, here's a cool video of uh, what the app shows in the receipt. Um, so, you know, pretty neat. It does, it does detail everything out and um, you get a notification. You know, you saw the example of Cicely. She took probably about 15 minutes. Um, so you do have a little bit of like a, uh, I guess a wonder of if your items were charged right and what you'd do. So interesting, but 
Uh, that concludes this video log and hope you enjoyed. It's the, I think the fourth store right here in Chicago. The other three are in Seattle. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, I believe they're opening a store in San Francisco and New York next. So, uh, but yeah, leave your comments, your thoughts, you know, if you've had a similar experience, what do you think about it? You think it's a cool idea? Did you have a good experience, bad experience? I'm curious to see what everyone thinks. And um, if we get out to the store later, another time, we'll take more videos and post them here as well. Cool, see ya, bye.